You guys are watching this video. We need to stay here a lot longer than three, <laughs> four days to do all the stuff that Dan told us to do. Seriously, Dan. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I would not want to let him down. Bring us back. <laughs> very quickly because we're actually going to another place which has a lot of food and we didn't want to fill ourselves up we did take our hot drinks to go oh, this is just amazing how can you beat this this weather is just fantastic what's funny is everybody wants what they don't have like yesterday we went to this restaurant and this waitress was like oh you guys have heaven weather in Dubai <laughs> and it's always like it's never unpredictable you know what you're gonna get and for us we're like oh we want like rain <laughs> London weather. See, now I'm still enjoying my drink and you're done. But I enjoyed my drink already. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, very short while. What do you guys think? I love my drink boiling hot. I hate it when the temperature goes down, unfortunately. I really, I love it that way. I love my like lips and my tongue to like burn when I have something hot. I just, I don't know. It's true, with tea and coffee I think it's true, but hot chocolate hot because a chocolate, it's cold hot chocolate, it's just chocolate milk. Peeps, hot chocolate, cold hot chocolate, isn't that an oxymoron? It turns into chocolate milk. What do you guys think? Drop us some comments below. Let us know if you like your hot chocolate cold. Guys, do him a favor and tell him that I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the record straight for once and for all and save for all the time. Up over here, peeps. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. I bumped into her and she dropped her hot chocolate on her new sweater. I'm so sorry, again. It's okay, we'll go to the restaurant here. You still need this? No. <laughs> you never want to hold this again, right? I can throw it away. Oh, because you want to be right? No. <laughs> Waste some space, <laughs> move somewhere else. It's all 
salted beef. They had some cured red cabbage in there. Pickle, mustard on wheat bread. This beef on its own is, is amazing, but... Slightly spicy mustard, the one that gets like in your nostril, up your nose, like, oh man. This is an amazing sandwich, babe. Oh. We got a half sandwich, which you can do over here, but I would eat a whole one on my own. Explain what it is. Hand-picked scallops, which look amazing. <laughs> oh yeah? Even white. That, that is like scallops, all super tender. Oh, it's spicy. I put too much hot to it. Oh. Can I? That is amazing. It is grilled on that griddle over there, which is fantastic. That looks like deep fried garlic. It's got bean sprouts over there, some veggies, some corn. I see um, some cabbage as well. And that looks like, what is that? It looks like a tangy chili type sauce or something like that. You can have the last one. You have one, right? Mm. Yeah. I love that, that fried garlic, a super, that crispy, stir fried veggies. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. All right, so uh, let's quickly say a couple of things just before we leave here, like just the closing thing of the burrows. Uh, what do you mean, leave? We haven't had any. <laughs> we need more? You had two things only. This is a market. It's like food heaven. I'll eat at least three more things. I'm down. You know me. He doesn't know what he's saying, guys. I tell you. <laughs> this is the kind of partner you want to have. Dude. I like it. I like it. <laughs> See what you got right there. Alu tiki chat. How is so it? good, so good, so good. Um, oh my god. That is so good. Oh, Okay, that's my favorite thing. Those chickpeas are like super soft. It's got like, oh, it just spiced up so nice. It was tamarind sauce in there, chutney, green chutney, yogurt. Um, what's this crispy thing called? Uh, that is called, I forgot. Metai. <laughs> oh, that is so good. It got like fresh coriander on top. They've got pomegranate seeds, as you can see over there. There's some yogurt. There's chopped up onions. Um, what else? My God, I swear. I tell you, India knows how to eat. Really, India knows how to eat. And of course, on top of it, look right there. Uh, is the potato patty. I love what that crispy stuff on top does to it. It's like super soft, but then... My God. So good. My God. I'm just wondering when it's time to uh, switch camera duty and uh, let me have the duty of like holding the food. <laughs> Sorry guys, sometimes I gotta get a little greedy. I mean, it's amazing to eat it, but I also want to like cut it up, you know, get the right combination of the potato and the chickpeas and all that sort of stuff. It's just fun that way. Here, so you see the difference between the size of my bite and the size of the thumbs bite, right? It does yeah. look better when you're eating it. Since I just take like bigger bites, that's why. See, that's the thing, you get like this little teeny weeny, like I had 
eight chickpeas on one fork, including the potato patty, including everything else. You have like two, <laughs> two and a half. Which one did you get? The jam. The classic. I like that. I like to be adventurous, but sometimes nothing beats a classic. No, it's like jam squirting from the inside. I love it. Make sure to keep the hole not where you're taking a bite, on the side, because you want to bite into it and you want that jam to ooze out from the side and then you get it on your finger and you just like lick your finger and that's the right way to do it. That's the way that I would do it. Yeah, but don't get the hole in your mouth. Nothing beats getting some of that sugar on your lips like all over. Is it my turn yet? 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 Alright, alright, alright. So leave the hole on the side. And listen peeps, you cannot have this donut without getting sugar all over your lips. You still got some. Good job. Good job. This is the reason why I'm married. She does stuff like that. Right. Okay, here we go, peeps. Yum. Oh, good choice. All right, now why don't you take this so I can uh, clean my mouth and uh, be human again. Are you gonna have another bite? Because you didn't take a second bite and I was about to take, you know me, like one bite of this just does not cut it. You can have all of it, I'm just one bite. Mm. <laughs> That is the way. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> back at the hotel, peeps. We're going to very quickly change and we're heading back out. has been inspired by Alice in Wonderland. These are the cards. You can have a look. You can also open the bottle to smell them so you have an idea which one you like the most. After five to three minutes, I'll see which ones you like. Okay, yeah? Sounds great. Yeah? Fantastic, thank you. There's this really cool tray of different types of teas in, in little bottles that look like potions. And the different teas are named after the characters in Alice in Wonderland. So Queen of Hearts, White Rabbit, Mad Hatter, Cheshire Cat, and Alice. Wow. Wait, is that inspired by something? Fill the sugar, have some medicine, and down. <laughs> That's not Alice. That's uh, Mary Poppins. <laughs> it was still awesome though, how you made that connection. In the most delightful way. Super light. This is pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add sugar into it. I think the queen holds up the uh, saucer when she drinks her tea. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> As we've learned from the crown. That's true. You guys watch the crown? It's an amazing show. You must watch it. Ready? Yeah. Would you like me to explain the stuff? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. On the top, I got the carrot flavored meringue with some orange jelly on the inside. Right? Yeah. What'd you go for first? Mm, cucumber and cheese. Oh, are you supposed to eat it like sideways or this way? Eat it however you like. <laughs> That's a skill, babe. There are no rules in love and war and food. Oh, I like that. I like that. So what is the deal with high tea? I mean, is there like a significance? Is there a reason why people do it? What's up with that? I mean, I love it as a tradition, but you know, where did it come from? I think it's, it was just from what I know, it's like a bridge between two meals. So if you're having dinner at like 9 p.m. Like we are tonight? 
Yes. And then, you know, lunch quite early. And it's a nice in between meal or snack. Peeps, just when you thought, or we thought, we couldn't eat anymore, we're gonna eat again. <laughs> Look, we walked out of the hotel, we took a right, and then we took our first right again. And that's where the restaurant is, where we're gonna eat tonight. It is Ruya. This is the first concept to start in Dubai and then come out here to London. Absolutely, awesome. like five star concept. To come out of Dubai, open in London, the guy who is driving everything at this restaurant is our friend, Chef Colin Clegg. He is fantastic. Chef Colin opened Zuma in Dubai and then he moved on to become the executive chef at Ivy, Remington Grill. Uh, Kubara, Jean George, and then Ruya. And he has invited us over here tonight. Thank you very much, Chef Colin. We really appreciate it. We love this restaurant. but this is definitely not the right spot to do something like that. That was an unbelievable meal. We weren't good planning on having dessert, but when we saw the menu, we thought it was a panafa. We waited 20 minutes for it, but it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> if you feel like you've eaten too much and you want to skip dessert, don't. And look, I have to tell you guys as well, really, like I was telling you guys we pretty much ate everything. And I said we, but really, I ate the whole thing. <laughs> like I barely ate, I ate just a little bit. She like Lies. devoured everything, it was all her. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic and... Uh, Lucky it's all on film. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what peeps, the good news is that this place is literally, I don't know, like 70 feet away from our hotel, the amazing Governor House Suites by Jumeirah Living. And that means that in the next, I'm going to say four and a half minutes, we're going to be in bed <laughs> and asleep, which yes. is just a perfect end to this day. Now leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, peeps. Good night, peeps. We're out of here. <laughs>